Sagittarius and welcome to your reading for Taurus season. I hope that you're doing amazing and now let's start your reading and we're gonna take a look at the energy between you and the person on your mind that could be a twin flame could be a soulmate or whoever that's on your mind at this time. Now I feel that um, you and this person are about to enter your soul's path. Now you two um, could have been going on your separate ways in order to learn certain spiritual lessons but I feel that this is the time that your soul's paths are going to merge with each other so um, I also see that for a lot of you uh, spirit is saying let your inner child to come and play so uh, with the full moon in your sign on June 4th I'm seeing that a very heavy and a difficult cycle is about to end and a new one a very light-hearted one is about to start you are going to get yourself out of these heavier energies that has been there or lingering in the background for a really long time so I feel like it has been a very prolonged kind of a um, heavy energy now um, a lot of inner child wounds that I'm seeing has been healed on both ends and you two are getting ready basically your souls are getting aligned with each other in order to fulfill this union or reunion now um, when it comes to your person I feel like your person has been wanting to express something to you for a really long time maybe for some of them they express that but then they left again um, I feel like for a lot of them they just left you in a um, perhaps there has been the time where everything has been on hold or you've been feeling like you're up in the air and nothing is just certain okay so I feel that with the full moon there's going to be a lot of revelations happening there's going to be a lot of um, you are also going to understand what this person's exactly intention is towards you because I feel like there has been a lot of back and forth with them now uh, let's just start the reading and uh, we're going to see what's going on this is going to be a little bit energetically and then we are also going to take a look at it from a, a 3d perspective as well and see what is going on okay now we have release rigidity on your person's end okay and also before i started your reading spirit was showing me like two birds flying together so you guys might be seeing uh, birds a lot you guys might be seeing um, birds in pairs okay uh, flying together and that's because you and this person's path are about to merge we also have what what do you need okay what do you need and I see that this is on your end and we also have sharp and shadows okay on your person's end and uh, we also have so much life in you on your person's end and it says feel yourself that's beautiful there's a heart in the middle of it and let's see what else we also have lessons in blood wow this is beautiful and this is actually the cycles of the moon here and this is energy of the union okay and uh, let's see what this one is we also have a spoonful of sugar wow beautiful and i feel that this is on your end what else we also have a uh, pocket of protection on your person's end let's see what else is going on we also have let the magic in how beautiful is that and i feel like this is um i feel that this is the energy of the union actually your paths are getting merged with each other that's what i see as well and let's see what else we also have between dreams on your end okay so that's beautiful we're gonna get one more card oh my goodness okay it's just flying flying by and so and it says the only thing and i feel like actually this is on your person's end it could be year of dragon as well let's see i think we need two more cards actually let's see okay we have defying gravity on your end and one more card for the union please oh my goodness okay um oh my god we have created space this is so beautiful this is exactly the two birds that i 
so before i started your reading so this is the energy of the union and uh, if you also have light in the darkness okay and i feel that this is again the energy of the union and we also it also says pay attention okay and i feel like this is on your person's end they could be an earth sign as well some of you as i said i feel like they could be a year of dragon here and um okay so i think that's good um maybe we get one more card for you guys okay let's see let's get one more card for you my lovely sagittarius okay and we have a start fresh this is exactly the energy that i was seeing for you guys that after these heavier energies something a fresh um, and a renewed energy is coming for your relationship okay so um let's take a look at your person's energy and see what's going on just give me a second here okay so what i'm seeing on your person's end is that there's something that they have been very um, restrict about okay this person has been feeling like either things has to happen in a certain way between you guys or it shouldn't happen at all so i feel like um what could have been causing perhaps the pause or um, maybe the separation the physical separation has been about your person on, on their end what i'm saying is that they needed to release something that they have been very uh they believed for a really long time this could have been an outdated belief uh, system something about like uh, maybe generation after generation they've been thought that love should be in a certain way and they are releasing that okay i feel like your person is cutting the ties with people and situations that are not working for them or is not for the highest uh, good um, i feel like when it comes to you what they are they have been realizing is that you've been triggering them to face their own shadow okay and what are those shadows it has been about something that they did not want it to look at within themselves which i'm saying that it has been about those rigid um, belief systems that was just not working um, because it was making them to just you know still stay in that state of sleeping not being awakened i feel like your person has been in that you know state of being for a really long time and they couldn't get themselves out until they have been able to release this rigidity okay something that they believe so strongly but it was just not um serving uh, serving them serving their higher um for their higher um purpose so i feel like they are releasing that at this time and um uh, there's something about like facing their own shadow and it says sharp and shadows it's almost like they've been able to cut it um, something that has been uh, perhaps a lot of negative energies around them it could be like about you know tradition or something that they thought okay between you and them you know things supposed to happen in a certain way but it didn't because the connection that you have with them is totally um, could be non-conventional okay this connection is a soul connection and they couldn't really understand what they need to do in order to move forward with you okay but now they're realizing that they had to face their own shadow and they had to cut certain uh, people or situations or uh, belief systems in order to perhaps get to where they want to go uh, with you or they were where they want to have that kind of a life with you okay this person um, have been 
uh, trying to protect you it's almost like they've been putting you you know in this kind of like <laughs> and it says pocket of protection and what I'm seeing is that they've been putting you you know as this kind of like a beautiful flower in inside a crystal and not wanting you know anybody to like touch you to like you know it's almost like over protecting okay I feel like they've been so scared to lose you that um it could have been causing a lot of issues for them because i feel like this person um has been feeling perhaps dead inside for a really long time and when they found you you just brought that positive that kind of like a and you know um maybe a really um powerful energies in their life that they did not want it to lose it i feel like it's also very beautiful but at the same time they thought that they shouldn't be um perhaps sharing it with the world you know and i feel like they've been keeping it away they've been hiding it away from other people perhaps they did not want it to um talk about it maybe you thought like why this person is so secretive about the connection and that's because of that they wanted to protect you okay um i feel like for this person they have been seeing the world in like um you know in so much darkness and shadow that they thought like the love that they have for you they should not reveal it otherwise it, it's gonna be getting ruined or something bad is gonna happen to it now what is happening is that i feel like your person is right now basically their third eye chakra is opening up i feel like um i feel like they are paying attention to the signs that they are getting from the universe at this time and it could be that the universe is just sending them like animal spirits they're sending them like um I don't know they're trying to get the attention of your person in any possible way because what spirit is telling your person is that and this is the only thing so what does that mean is that I feel like they found this person is very um knowledgeable i feel like this person is pretty smart but the only thing that they couldn't figure out was this connection of like how it works and how they can just get themselves into this union with you now you might be thinking that you know you've been you know actually like trying to tell them um you know that you love them and you've been you know more than let's say open to them but i feel like they just did not understand why there has been a lot of pull and push between you two but right now what is happening is they are getting a lot of signs they could be seeing birds butterfly um you know even a snail square so i feel like they've been getting a lot of um messages from spirit and if you guys take a look there is a uh, cup here so i feel like this is the love that they have for you you know i feel like it has been cast away aside perhaps they have been hiding it for a really long time it's almost like suppressing your emotions and feeling for a really long time and spirit is saying is that you know it's just so much life in you and i feel like yes they've been feeling like maybe they are just um emotionally dead inside but you proved it to be wrong you know you proved that this person actually has so much love inside inside their heart even though they haven't been perhaps expressing it as much because they've been wanting to protect this love from the darkness from even their own darkness perhaps okay um i feel like they're seeing things a lot more clear than before especially i feel like as i said their third eye chakra is opening up beautifully um it could be that they're an earth sign so uh capricorn virgo or taurus is being showed up and also water sign has been showed up as well so um uh, scorpio cancer or pisces is also being showed up okay so that's their energy and um what is happening on your end my lovely sagittarius is that i feel like you wanted to go against um the river you wanted to uh, go against the gravity and this is defying gravity you know 
and you did it. I feel like you guys have been able to find perhaps way or steps towards the union. Maybe, you know, this connection is almost like, you know, it couldn't happen just like all at once. I feel like you had to take certain steps in order to get where you want to go with this person. And just like with them as well, you know, because they had to release a lot of that, um, shadow aspects of themselves they had to face it okay and for you i feel like um just a second guys my apologies I feel like for you guys, you had to learn how to love yourself. You had to feel your own cup. You had to, and it says feel yourself, feel your heart with happiness, feel your heart with sweetness, perhaps feeling your heart with, um, and it says a spoonful of sugar. It's almost like, you know, what spirit has been asking you when it comes to them was that, what do you need from this person? Okay, like I feel like for a lot of you, this is a question that keeps coming. It's almost like what you want, you know, from this per person. And remember that what you want could be different from what you need, actually. Maybe you've been wanting something else, but, um, you know, Spirit is saying is that what you need at this time is something that you need to look at. There's also two snakes, which is I'm seeing that as um, Kundalini awakening for the both of you. I feel like, you know, for some of you, perhaps you didn't know what you need. Okay. And um, the way that the universe has been showing you has been about through your spiritual lessons for some of you you had to go through all of these steps in order to like basically get to this um sweet part of your um chapter that's about to start and says so a spoonful of sugar so i feel like you know slowly but surely you are getting to where you want with this person but it all had to do with the internal process as well i feel like for some of you um you are about to start uh fresh with them okay so a very difficult cycle i feel like as i said is ending and you learned how to love yourself how to feel um your own life maybe you've been feeling like if you have been feeling empty maybe you thought like someone else like you know including your divine counterpart or your person could be feeling your life but now you are understanding that you're the only person that can feel that void okay and it says feel yourself meaning that you know loving yourself this is what i see there's something about the heart i feel like your heart chakra perhaps needed to be healed in a way uh, for some of you, they're also saying that you could be dreaming about this person a lot. Okay, you could be having a lot of vivid dreams. And it's almost like right now, this connection is somewhere between um, perhaps the reality and a dream. Okay, it's almost like it's coming into it, but it hasn't, it is coming into 3D, but it hasn't yet. Um, I feel like for some of you, um there's also i'm seeing a lot of past life with this person so it could be that you had a past life as a native american with them that's another thing that i'm seeing and it could be that a lot of these dreams could be also coming up into the surface for you uh, a lot of past life trauma that and that's why you know um perhaps you got the feel yourself because you needed to learn how to love yourself there was something uh, it, like a trauma that has happened between you and this person that I'm seeing that is being healed, okay? Now, um, hold on a second, guys. I feel like this is such a beautiful card as well because it's almost like, you know, uh, you've been and this is a caterpillar okay so you are on your way to like going um, towards the light going towards your purpose and for a lot of you I feel like this is your destiny this is your path along with this person um, that's what I'm strongly seeing like basically starting fresh with each other uh, this is so beautiful and it has a lot of constellations and I'm seeing that maybe you've been just um, 
looking to find out what are some of the ways that you two can just start again like basically leaving the past behind you okay now the energy of the union is beautiful and it says light in the darkness and what does that mean is that there's always light in the dark there's always some dark in the light so basically this is the energy of the yin yang that i'm seeing is coming but if you take a look the sun has been almost like you know trapped within this um cage and um you know spirit is saying that all the darkness that you and this person has been going through there always has been some you know um light in it meaning that there's always some kind of a blessing in all of the darkness that both of you had to go through and um and it's behind you guys because i feel like you two are stepping into a really beautiful journey together this path and there is the sun and the moon so there is that yin yang energy the masculine and the feminine and it says let the magic in basically you two are going to um, discover a new soul path with each other it's almost like um everything is getting clear right now everything is getting ready a cycle has ended the lessons in blood the lessons has been learned on both ends and this is exactly the cycle of the moon and i feel like you know the moon is going as you see this is like just like the cycles of your life as well so beautiful i feel like both of you guys have been learning about your lessons and um the moon is getting to the full and this is exactly that i'm seeing as um the full moon in sagittarius that's happening uh that all the lessons that basically that you guys needed perhaps even to learn here on this um uh earthy life has been completed okay and that's why you two are about to come into this beautiful union and spirit is saying that create a space because you two are about to make um a life together this is your nest with this person you know and why does it say create a, create a space because you two are about to come to union and you two have to cut whatever that's not necessary people situations in order to create some space in your life for the person that you are about to come into union or reunion with this is so beautiful i feel like for some of you you will have a house with them so for some of you you will have kids with this person as well i mean look at this this is such a beautiful um card that you guys have and this is exactly what i saw as the two birds and the nest that i told you guys in the beginning okay so this is so beautiful and uh, this is pretty much like has been energetically and let's take a look at it from a 3d perspective as well and see what spirit wants to say I feel like before you come into union with this person you're going to dream uh, about them so pay attention to your dreams as well it's like and says between dreams meaning that uh, a lot of you might have vivid dreams about them even some past life dreams could be coming uh, you guys might get some information about that as well okay Also, I forgot to mention year of a snake as well. For some of you, you could have the same. You could be the same age. Okay, and uh, let's see. Spirit, please tell me what else is going on here. We have the ten of stones, and uh, this is beautiful. This is on your end, and this is um, the ten of uh, pentacles. Okay, and what else do we have? We also have the queen of stones. Okay, some of you are artists you could be painting you could be like um painter you could be like an artist you could be like into any kind of art but for a lot of you i'm seeing artists okay oh my goodness sorry guys okay all right and we also have the illusionist okay the knight of stones yes for some of you this person is definitely an earth sign and we also have the five of spirals on their end just a second year of dragon oh my goodness
Okay, let's see what else is going on for my lovely Sagittarius. And uh, we have our Yadne on your end. Definitely a Taurus. Uh, either you have Taurus in your charts or they have it strongly. <coughs> we also have the seven of mirrors on your end. And we have the eight of scrolls on your end. Oh my God. Some of you guys could be like, um, I'm seeing also past life in Egypt or some Middle Eastern countries. We also have uh, the meme, the page of spirals on their end. Could also be an Aries. And we also have Psyche, the world. That's beautiful. That's really, really beautiful. And, um, and I feel that this is on the, as the energy of the union uh, with the world card. Uh, but what I see is that both of you guys are very psychic. Both of you guys are very intuitive. And uh, we also have the magician. Wow, beautiful. And I feel like, again, this is the energy of the union. So there's Gemini energy coming. I don't know if I said that there was Gemini energy or not. But yeah, Gemini energy is coming with the two ravens. Could be your spirit animal. There's also a third eye. And we also have Kali on their end, okay. And uh, what else do we have here? We also have the sorceress or the high priestess, wow, on your end, okay. And we also have the seven of stones, okay, on your person's end. We also have the divine child, the hierophant, oh my goodness, definitely a Taurus so or an aries ace of spirals okay what else we also have the nine of mirrors and um, i feel that this is on your end okay gonna get one more card and we have the eight of spirals as the energy of the union okay so um what is going on here is that let's take a look at their energy and see actually what is going on in 3d for them i feel like something has happened to your person that has cause them to have this extreme tower energy i feel like um just a second guys so sorry so remember that you know they had that shadow um, card like the sharp and shadow so I feel like this is um, this is the tower moment that has happened to your person basically this is divine tower as well I feel like and you know uh, if you guys know about Kali you know that she is a goddess that she just cuts uh, everything that's not needed basically you know this is the energy to um, clear everything that's not needed in one's life i feel like your person could have had the influence of um, some people around them that has been very very negative and they're cutting the ties uh, with those people uh, i feel like for some of them it could be even like family ties even though i see that this person is very very family oriented this person has such a beautiful um hard so this person is um could be like you actually into art as well i feel like both of you guys could be quite artistic uh, maybe yeah there's something about art that's being showed up here but i feel like 
I feel like your person needed to heal this inner child and the way that um, it has been done uh, that I see in the treaty was that there has been some people around them that they had to cut them uh, and I see that strongly as I said it could be like some family members or some people that it's just um, they've been playing a very negative role in their life um, they could have also been not taking your person so seriously I feel like um, a lot of people could have been like making fun of them or saying that this person is like silly or they're like a clown or things like that like they could have been calling them names and I feel like this is the time that they are saying no to those people I feel like they're cutting the ties they're leaving that it could be a karmic partner as well someone who has been you know putting them down i feel like this person has certain talents that a lot of people maybe consider it not so um let's say accepted by society uh, for the um, divine masculine energy okay so if they're a masculine energy they might be into actually painting or the arts that a lot of people might see it as just like for uh, more of a feminine like kind of a work and maybe you know and saying that okay this person should not be doing music or uh, painting because they can make money out of that so i feel like this is all about those outdated um, system beliefs that your person is um, overcoming that because they have had um, I feel like a lot of them had like actually musically have been talented but people have been telling them that no you cannot make money out of that or like men are, are supposed to like get like a different type of a job and I feel like it has been in a tradition it has been in a in a family generation after generation and now everything is just um, falling apart for them I feel like your person is actually someone could have been into business or things like that but whatever that they have been doing they're realizing that that has been actually not what they wanted to do okay and this is the illusionist and um what i see here is that your person could have been actually pretending that they're dumb but they're actually pretty smart okay they could also be an aries i feel like they could be an aries but um an aries and taurus is being showed up uh, but i feel like strongly that uh, they are stepping into their power okay this dragon is no longer going is sleeping i feel like they're uh, they're being awakened i feel like they want to show what they can do okay what their talents are and i feel like you could have been actually activated a lot of these talents in them now uh just a second <coughs> okay basically i feel like this person you know would rather instead of like um spending a lot of time in the office they want to be outdoors they want to be spending time with like nature within nature with like animals with like you know maybe doing paintings and things like that like being creative or even playing some kind of a musical instrument i feel like they're heavily like um uh, you know they're showing that uh, that uh, musically talented or like uh, art okay this person is very artistic but they never had an opportunity to perhaps express themselves and i feel like you know when it comes to you what is going on is that um i feel like they have been playing this um kind of like hide and seek with you okay and this is the illusion is it's almost like <clears throat> one time they were there and then the other time you saw them disappearing like they haven't been showing you their true self and um what is going on on your end is that i feel like um a lot of you guys felt abandoned by this person a lot of you guys felt like what you have had as a vision it has been broken there's like a broken um, mirror but what spirit exactly is saying is that this has been um what you have had as as an illusion about yourself so something about self-image that i'm seeing is broken so don't feel bad that something inside you maybe has been dying because it has been um, an illusion and that illusion is being broken for you to see your true self okay 
so i feel like there is a lot of that energy of like you know you finding yourself you finding um who you truly are uh via this person perhaps they have been triggering you and yes there's also i forgot there is a scorpio energy here but with ariane i don't know if you guys know the story of her but she was abandoned by her lover and then um uh, you know there was a god who found her and actually married her and i feel like it's almost like that energy of like maybe you know um this person ended the relationship and everything that you thought you're gonna have just fallen apart uh, including the image of, that you had about yourself um, but as i said it was for you to um actually discover a lot of your hidden talents just like them as well uh, for some of you guys i see that you are extremely intuitive too so there was something that um, perhaps needed to be activated yeah for some of you you can see the future some of you could be even um having your own youtube channels or maybe your tarot readers that you are watching this but no matter what you do i feel like you right now have been uh, stepping into your true path a lot of you guys are uh, sorceress the high priestess this is exactly the energy that i see i feel like a lot of your past life gifts has been coming into the surface including like you know art as well for some of you maybe you have visionary you are a visionary artist specifically okay um but you know what i'm seeing as the connection towards this person is that you felt like it's ended maybe for some of you you felt abandoned by this person but actually you know with this nine of mirrors what i see is that spirit wanted you to get clarity okay to see what exactly you want in life to, but um and also asking you what you need you know that question keeps coming of like what do you need in your life as opposed to like what you want because sometimes they, it could be you know um uh, maybe it's it hasn't been aligned maybe some of you you thought like you wanted this relationship in a certain way but actually what you needed was something else to happen maybe the separation or the ending in order for you to find out who you truly are on a soul level and um and i feel like you know in a different way for them as well okay some of you guys you could be actually into weaving or yeah because they're showing someone who is like into weaving so some of you guys are extremely talented i feel like you are multi-talented and you have discovered your um this hidden talent some of you guys yes you can see the future i'm seeing a lot of psychics who are watching this gypsy um like maybe some of you guys used to be actually gypsies there's a raven so definitely raven as a spirit animal is being showed up on both ends because look at the ravens in the middle and says the magician and there are two pearls and also there is an eye in the middle of the tree which means that i feel like you two have everything that you need in order to make this um, union happen and i'm seeing that within eight weeks some of you guys are coming are about to come into union and that could be like around um gemini or actually for some of you could also be uh, cancer season okay but i see that more gemini season yeah the magician showed up um i feel like yes both of you guys are extremely psychic and in fact maybe um you two could have been um psychics in your previous lifetimes as well okay so um just a second okay my loves now let's also get some charms and i'm also going to continue this on the membership site too so join us if you want to as well i really love this and also really love the union energy with the two ravens okay <clears throat> now um let's get you guys some charms and see what else is going to be coming
Okay. Uh, we have U.S. census, soul bond. We have marriage for some of you, and um, it also letter Y, letter M. Okay, and it says also, I feel it's time for us to get back together. Union number two, and it says, I'm coming back for you. I'm not giving up on you. Nothing is going to stop me. I'm my, I'm making my way back home. Uh, we will be together again. Okay, and. Um, it says it's been a long time union happening in summer letter z and it says i miss you i want to see you again uh, letter l as well okay and um we also have letter a letter q letter h greece italy and it says i feel you don't need me in your life okay and uh, it also says i know very soon we will see each other our union is approaching oh my goodness just thinking about you put my heart and soul on fire uh some of you guys could be actually my parents or i'm seeing like single parents uh, and for some of you, you are also going to have a child with this person okay year of rabbits there is also australia yeah somewhere like with grapes so it could be like italy or greece that spirit is showing and um it says family issues at the moment and it's taking a troll on me okay i'm sorry i haven't been in touch with you i'm dealing with some family issues and it's been uh, taking a troll on me i love you so yes for some of them i feel like there has been a lot of like family issues that they have been dealing with we also have new york okay it says i'm leaving a karmic situation or partner behind i told you guys that you know with that kelly card or the tower that has been the situation and it says divine union twin flames coming together and it says you have set my heart on fire do you feel my passion so it could be a fire sign especially for some of you it could be an aries or it could be another sagittarius or leo as well but it seems like you put yeah this person is like um there's a lot of like talk about like um there's a lot of talk about uh you put their heart and soul on fire there's that energy coming okay and we also have pisces energy coming for some of you and it says i need some time to work on myself my thoughts are cloudy um, I feel like this could have been the energy of the past though. Oh my god, we have Leo. Okay, yes, Leo energy, Leo of monkey, and uh, letter U as well. Okay, um, and it's interesting that we have the tree of life. And to me, this is exactly the tree that showed up in the beginning of your reading as well okay so this is the tree i feel like this is the tree i feel like you guys have been um, perhaps had a lot of lessons separately and also together that are being completed at this time and that's why this beautiful union is happening uh, this is such a beautiful energies that are coming for you guys and um year of horse as well yes definitely for some of you this person is musically talented or they could be into music we also have um czech republic perhaps and it says we are a power couple together we can conquer anything this i know i want you to know that last time we were together was so magical okay we also have paris so france is also being showed up and um what else do we have we also have cancer so for some of you that is also being showed up and with two hearts kind of like intertangled together so i feel like that is you and this person's energy coming okay my lovely sagittarius i hope that you guys enjoyed your reading and i will continue this on the membership site so join us if you want to and sending all of you so much love until next time